Now, our current projection is a 7.1% swing, and we've got the LNP ahead in Maywa. The Greens are currently ahead on the vote, but when you factor in the postal votes, which normally heavily favour the LNP, there is the chance that the LNP could pick up Maywa. Uh, so that's that's on the current numbers. There's more counting to come, but that's potentially an extra street extra seat for the for the um, for the LNP. Anthony, can you just show us the statewide trends? Certainly. I'm here at your service. <laughs> <laughs> the LN Day Party is down to 32.6. The LNP is now just under 43. 9.6% for the Greens, 77 for One Nation. The change in primary vote is mostly 7% down, 7% up between the two major parties. And the two-party preferred swing is 7.1%. So it's above that 5.7% swing we needed. And they've pushed that swing has been... If I clear that out, I'll go and have a look at the comparative swings between the regions. If you talk about southeast Queensland, the swing is 5.9%, and the swing in regional Queensland is 9.8%, so much bigger outside of Brisbane. Mm -hmm. And if I clear them That's out, a big swing. and just look at Brisbane itself, within Brisbane, uh, within Brisbane City Council, the swing is 54 and in outer Brisbane, which is the surrounding councils, is 7.9%. Yeah. So that's the sort of swing uh, you you see. I mean, the Labor Party has done well to ring fence, to hold on to large parts of Brisbane. It's still a majority party in Greater Brisbane, but he's taken a severe battering up the coast. Yeah, and I'll get some thoughts from Coz in a tick, but just when you mentioned Maywa there, does this mean the Greens might not have a single seat? It is possible the Greens will have no seats after this election. Possible. I'm wow. not predicting that. They were hoping to pick up how many? Uh, was it, I think they uh, said um, there were some exciting results in there tonight. Well, so we, we've been talking tonight about uh, a difficult night for the Greens, but it's just got a lot more difficult if they have no seats in the parliament. We'll see, but they're just clinging on. David, um, can I just add here, uh, I spent the morning in Maywa because this has been my sleeper seat for the campaign. Right. The candidate has worked incredibly hard. She is a, a, a very brave woman. Uh, and the Jewish community came out behind her after her work standing up at the University of Queensland um, after the protest there. She had um, volunteers speaking uh, in Mandarin to, to uh, Chinese um, voters. I mean, they have thrown everything at this. And so Tash Winters uh, has worked against the odds in a place that nobody's been watching. Now, we don't know what's going to happen at the end of the night, but I just want to shout out to her because I think she is an exceptional sure. candidate. Susan, we're starting to see some movement over at LNP headquarters. I'm told that the deputy LNP leader, Jared Blay, has arrived. 